Here's Harden. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. The defensive tandem of Thibel and Tucker are the forwards. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Embiid in at the five spot. And the dunk by Embiid. And how about that reach of Embiid using those long arms to just gobble up second chance opportunities? MP against Maxey. MP. Carter sets the pick for Fultz. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Tucker. And there's the feed to Embiid over Carter. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. So the 76ers, their last game, a loss to the Hornets. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Count that bucket. Folks, this takes skill and timing. MP finds the opening and just takes it. For Philadelphia, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Harden the pass to Embiid. Here's Feibel. There's the pass to Tucker. Now Embiid. Five on the clock. Plays it up and banks it in. Embiid's got his second bucket tonight. The footwork, the patience. Watching Embiid go to work inside is just a treat. There's the screen. MP with it. Maxi covering. Here's Ben Kim. Good, and the assist goes to MP. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. The three from Harden trains the three-pointer. A staple of Harden's attack. His three-point shot is about as lethal as it gets. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. I briefly spoke with Jamal Mosley. He put up a terrific performance tonight, especially at the defensive end. He said, we want to use our length and athleticism to protect the rim and make it hard for shooters to get clean looks. This is the first meeting of the season between these two. Guys, we'll see how it comes out. All right, D.A., we appreciate it. They're focused on defense, Greg. We'll see how it plays out. It's going to come down to hustle. And in this league, you have to be very quick to rotate when you're in help. Playing solid defense can turn the game in their favor very quickly. This one for three. Another three for Philadelphia. Whenever it's hard in running pick and rolls, you have to stop the ball first, ladies and gentlemen, or he will get you. Look, some of James Harden's career numbers are crazy. But he's also got a lot of firsts to go along with those overall totals, like the first 60-point triple-double. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Harden the pass to Maxi. Embiid with a screen on MP. Maxi, no good. And Harden was the first player to average 35 points and seven assists in a season. Yeah, and that was in the 2018-19 season. The same year, he was also the first player to score at least 30 points against every other team. No one had done that since the NBA expanded in 2004. Back to Harden. Over Fultz. Harden's shot is off. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Driving the lane, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance. Philadelphia shooting their first free throw of the night. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in terms of their attempts, 81%. The south ball, hard, lucky lefty. He's a tremendous offensive player who can pretty much get triple doubles in one chance. Sixers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. 
Embiid with a screen on MP. Here's Maxi, and it's sent back by Carter. How about the anticipation from Carter Jr.? Has a strong sense for when to go after that block shot. MP dishes to Van Carroll. Once again off the mark, Orlando. The 76ers leading by five. On top, Maxi. Covered by MP. Fires from deep. It's good. Nice touch there from Maxi. Capable of playing either guard position. Hard and sense for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. Wagner has green on Maxi. Wagner outside. Carter against Embiid. Here's the three. MP, no good. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. Eight point game. Shoots a fader. And they get it back. Bible finds Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. Fultz a screen on Maxi. MP passes to Fultz. Holding with it. He had 25 points last game. For the three. That shot missing, so Orlando will take it the other way. Here's MP. Down it goes, his third basket. He's now three for four. Well, MP doesn't make it easy on defenders using a little dribble move to throw off the coverage. Passes it to MB. Now, here's Thibel. He's defended by Wagner. Here's Embiid. That one's good. Just his third make brings him to three for eight in this game. You know, it's going to be tough to... Orlando making a change here. Bamba's checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Volts kicks to MP. Pass to Van Carroll. Now here's Fultz. Wagner a screen on Hart. Fultz the pass to MP. And the dunk by MP. What a finish there by MP. Like the defense has been put on notice. Here's Max. Six points for him. Pass to Harden. There's the three. Orlando grabs the miss. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road. The bench production was huge, no doubt. A testament to how well prepared is for these tough road games. This season is still only just getting underway, but as a player, RJ, how valuable is it to get things started the right way? It is so valuable, because as coaches say, plays that often start bad, end bad, and it's the same thing with seasons. If seasons start bad, there's a higher probability of them ending bad, so you want to get off to a good start. You want to show up ready to go. That shot is off, coming up empty for the second time this game. Four for six. Milton passes to Thomas. Embiid with a screen on him. Thomas goes in. And Bamba pulls it down. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. MP against Melton. MP passes to Okiki. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Anthony against Thomas, and there's the pass to Harrell. That's in there, Thomas with the assist. And improving as a shot maker every year, Harrell has to be accounted for defensively. The drive by MV. <laughs> Scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. The first one falls for him. P.J. Tucker, he's checked. At the line for 
MP. And both free throws good for MP. And you guys, a big part of what makes MP special is his incredible work ethic. This is a guy who's just always in hustle mode every play, trying to do more for his team. Tumps over to the wing. Here's Tucker. No good on the triple. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Bamba a screen on Melton. Here's MP. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down. And really, the story of the game. They were bricking. They were missing. They were airballing. They were doing everything. Brutal night shooting for them when they couldn't even hit the broad side of the barn. They couldn't hit the ocean if they fell out of the barn. wing MP defended by Milton MP dishes to Bamba and the dunk by Bamba now that's how you orchestrate the pick and roll MP with the great feed there to his teammate and here is Milton still getting warmed up offensively no scoring yet from him here's Harold Bamba with the block and the giant wingspan of Bamba strikes again. And Embiid, no good on that one. And I feel like one of the more underrated aspects of Embiid's game is his passing. He understands that teams are going to bring two, sometimes three. You have to make quick decisions with the ball when that happens. Embiid, he embraces that challenge. And so in the game for the 76ers, Matisse Thibault's out there with Harrell. Then there's Embiid. Then it's Harden. And it's Maxi in a shooting guard. The three. Carter pulls it in. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. To the middle. Here's Thibel. And down and go. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. I tell you what, he's showing some real courage going to the reverse in that situation. You know, I, I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> now, MP. He had 13 points in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And also active defensively. Two blocks to go with kind of his overall floor game. You got this thing, bro. This team is trash, bro. At the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Free throw good, MP. MP at the line for two. And both free throws good for MP. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Maxi against MP. Maxi passes to Harden. And it's sent back by Carter. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alden. David. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers... Get those smiles off your faces. Yes. I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Richard, you played before and after the emergence of social media. How does that affect, in your opinion, the players these days uh, in that very uh, uncharted world? Well, it's a beautiful thing because players now understand that they are a brand. Social media has helped them build a brand. And so now you have the ability to connect with your fans in a positive way. And for me, that is a great thing for this league because the players are doing a great job with it. But you'd probably agree. you got to use it correctly and, and not stray into the dark side, right? Yeah, no, <laughs> stay away from the dark side. Looking it over. Two free throws coming up. 
In his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injury. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. Right wing. Maxi kicks to Harden. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal, shooting at a four of nine clip. This is the offensive onslaught that is James Hart, just capable of dominating games all by himself. MP with it, now defended by MB. MP sets the screen for false, goes up at the stripe, and the jumper is good. And this is an area that you like to see Fultz work on. If he can develop a consistent mid-range jumper, it's over for the rest of the league. Harden the pass to Thibault. Now here's Harrell. 11 points for him in that last game against Charlotte. To the paint, here's Maxi. Offensive rebound, Harrell kicks to Thibault. Harrell the pass to Harden. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And the shot goes in from MB. Looked like he was playing against his little partner. The Magic trail by six. Here's MP. 23 points in the game. With the drive. Rebound by the 76ers. And Beach got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Maxi, and he finishes nicely on the way. And now an eight point 76ers lead. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye open. And Carroll was screened for MP. Gets that one through the hole, make him now seven of 13 in this game. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Now, here's Thibel. He's tightly guarded. Embiid, no good. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Maxi against MP. Passes it to Ben Carroll. Lock at six. Back to MP. Off target with his three. The 76ers leading by six. Outside, Maxi. Good work defensively by Carter. And to put things simply, this has not been his work. Pass to Fultz. Back to MP. Van Carroll was screened for MP. Over Maxi. And it's Van Carroll missing. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. Back to Harden. Embiid with a screen on Carden. Harden has a wide open look. The 76ers with another miss. The Magic trail by six. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. The drive by Embiid. And Embiid with the block. Yeah, defensively, Embiid can take over a game with his reach. Big block from him there. Bible can't get it to go. Orlando's gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter so far. MP with it. 25 points in the game. To the inside. And stolen by Harrell. Harden with it. Now guarded by Fultz. Maxi in the corner. No good, and they can't put an end to this drought. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Ogner passes to Van Carroll. And here is MP. Running around 26 and a half points a game rarely has an off night. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Orlando making some changes. Bob Booker. And so it's 
Philadelphia with a six. He is out hustling everyone on the glass. Okay, time now to see how the Eastern Conference is starting to shape up. A look here now at the 76ers. They've been incredible out the gates. You could see this coming. And that's a halftime wrap. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You look at MP in this one, he's been everywhere. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. He knows that that's a strength for him. If they're going to keep fouling, he has no problem taking that. Moment here now for an injury report. Let's find out the news on Cole Anthony. David, what's the update? Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for Orlando let me know his status. He said that the hip is bruised pretty badly, but overall, it should be okay. Well, this is definitely unlucky, and especially right at the start of the season. The adjustments will be plentiful going forward. Kevin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And you never want to speculate. So it's nice for us, and especially his teammates, to get some facts. In the post, it's Van Carroll and Carter Jr. And be out there with Fultz, and it's Wagner in at the three spot. That's the group starting the second half for Jamal Mosley. And so, MP will bring it up for Orlando. They trail by nine points. Takes it inside. Feeds to Carter. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And the rejection by MP. And that one's good, Maxi. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Carter with a screen on Maxi. The drive by MP. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. You're the best, MP. They got play by MP, sinking the tough shot and the foul. What a contribution at the line so far, going 10 for 10. And what a performance he's put in at the free throw line. MP with a screen on MP. Here's Harden. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. Okay, so they've looked energized and focused starting this half. Coming out of the break, making four out of their first five. Picked them clean. They push it up, four on three. Feibel on the wing, defended by Carter. Feibel, the pass to Embiid, in the corner. Harden. Embiid, the screen. Six on the shot clock. Maxi, no good. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. MP dishes to Fultz. MP with a screen on Hart. And that one hits back iron. Eibel with the ball. And it's Carter picking him up. Harden against Fultz. Harden the pass to Maxi. Eibel with the ball. And they recover it. And it's good, two points. Embiid's got 19 points. That's a blue collar bucket right there. Grown man basket, put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. Here's MP. Dishes it to Van Carroll. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Maxi, no good. The Magic trail by 10. Now, MP. 
30 points in the game. And stolen by Thibault. Maxi with it. Now guarded by Fultz. Here's Tucker. It's good from long range. Tucker's got the lead up to 13 now for the 76ers. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. An NBA all-defense for two years running. Matisse Thibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he set foot. Two blocks a game. And per minute, not far off that pace in the pros. His opponent field goal percentage last season good for second best in the league. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for the 76ers. Orlando, they've gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Maxi against MP. And finished off by Van Carroll. Oh, love that. Van Carroll moves so well with and without the ball. of 76ers leading by 10. Maxi looking it over. Pass to Harden. And Harden with the stuff. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that finish shows you how dangerous he can be as a passer and a finisher. MP with it. Now guarded by Harrell. A fader. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The 76ers have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Axie passes to Harden. Harrell a screen on MP. From deep. Harden can't hit. His three-point shooting kind of dried up in the second half. He is yet to make one after knocking down three before halftime. Now, here's MP. The pass to Van Carroll. Wagner outside. Shot clock at five. Wagner with a screen for Fultz. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Outside, Maxi passes it to Harden. Over MP. Harden can't hit. And Wagner's got the ball here for Orlando. A 12-point game. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Thibel. Harden kicks to Thibel. Another miss by Philadelphia. The Magic have gone 4-9 from the floor so far in the third. MP against Harden. The drive by MP. And MP throws it down. That was a vicious finish from MP. That is how you take it home around the rim. The 76ers leading by 10. Harrell up top. And Tucker has it in the corner. Maxi against MP. Maxi, and the shot is long. And he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Maxi finds Harden. No good on the three. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. MV passes the card. Here's MP. He's got 34. Just five to shoot. And it's off from three-point range. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Here's Maxi, and the rejection by MP. Bankero kicks to MP. The dish to Bankero. Good, and the assist goes to MP. 
MP's got six assists in the game. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. That's up. Get in there. We came to watch you, MP! You're the man! Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Milton. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Just barely too late and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. The Magic trail by three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. So on the floor for Philadelphia, we've got Maxi. Andres Harrell is out there with Shake Milton. And there's Embiid, and it's Harden in at the point. The drive by MP. And MP throws it down. It's not surprising to see MP fill it up offensively. He has a tremendous work ethic and has set himself up for some success in this league. Here's Harden. He dishes it to Embiid. Count that one. Embiid's got 23. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high quality shot and then able to knock it down. MP kicks to Wagner. Carter sets the pick for Fultz. Shot clock at six. Pass to MP. And he gets the whistle. Two for that one on Maxi. Giving his all on that play. MP working hard to win the whistle. And so he makes both from the line. The 76ers lead it. Outside, Maxi. And contact on the shot. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Fultz. MP with it. Going inside. Count it. And he'll have a chance for a three-point. No problem with the contact there. MP with the easy finish. And it's tied up with that one. 76ers have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. MP against Maxi. Good defense by MP. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. Carter outside to take the lead. Good in the assist goes to MP. Now it's a three-point Orlando lead. Nice feed by MP, a popular guy in this locker room. Pass to Harrell. Embiid against Carter. The 76ers again can't hit it. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Wagner wide open. And again, it's Orlando converting. And not bad passing center. Carter Jr. with the solid find there. That leads to a bucket. Here's Maxi. That one's off. Still out of sync. Magic leading by five. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing. Really keeping things simple. MP trying to free himself up. No good with the elbow jump. Philadelphia shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. The pass to Milton. Inside. Maxi. Bancaro grabs the board. Bancaro's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Wagner passes to MP. Kicks it to Bancaro. 
That three off the mark. The 76ers trail by five. Axie passes to Harrell. And stolen by MP. Wagner outside. Wagner as screen on Maxi. Back to Wagner. MP outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebound by Harold. The 76ers are gone. Four of ten here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Loads it up there for Harold. Hammers the alley-oop through. And with toughness and physicality, Harold can simply overpower opponents offensively. MP passes to Ben Carroll. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident. DJ Tucker comes in for Harrell, and Matisse Thibel subbed in for Shake Milton. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He said, if we're going to pull this out, we have to do it as a team. We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Magic leading by three. And here is MP. Driving in, and the dunk by MP. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Harden against Fultz. MB dishes to Harden. Latrey. Rebound by the Magic. Wagner's got his fifth rebound in this one. Orlando's gotten off four three corners in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. There's a good screen. MP passes to Van Carroll. And finished off by Van Carroll. And what a strong finish from Van Carroll. His guys love when he throws it down. And so Harden will bring it up for Philadelphia. They trail by seven. Pass to Tucker. Carter against Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. You gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Pass to Ben Carroll. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got nine assists now tonight. Outside, Maxi has to Harden. The pass to MB. Eibel on the wing. Here's Maxi. And a clear foul there. The previous play is under review. It's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge them. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And so the word is in. They have decided. The it does not the word get to the line more in doing just that. And he makes all three. Magic leading by four. Wagner finds MP. Wagner is screen on Maxi. And they double up MP. Five to shoot. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. MP's got 45 points. 
as they set their sights on locking up the win, he has to do everything in his power to make this happen. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. Orlando's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Down low, here's Ben Carroll. It's good. That's eight baskets for him now. Eight for 15 shooting. And the paint is where you love to watch Ben Carroll work. With his size and athleticism, he can attack so effectively inside. Embiid against Carter. Here's Fable. And at the line for the Sixers, Matisse Fiverr. At the line for two. And he's good on the second. Magic leading by seven. Now, MP. And the foul on Harden. That's his A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Now, here's MP. Six to shoot. Here's Van Kill. Good, and the assist goes to MP. Van has got the lead up to nine now for Orlando. Here is Harden. Here's Embiid. Another miss by Philadelphia. Magic shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. 1.15 left in the fourth quarter. Wagner kicks to MP. Orlando needs to get off a shot. Bucket is good. And now it's an 11 point magic lead. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the magic. They made the most of their free throw opportunities. They, they just shot much better, and that improved their confidence, I think, as a team. It, it was a team that. And that performance it was for MP. And there is no question his defense set the tone for his team and gave them the rim protection they needed. Outstanding effort. 43 seconds left to play in the final quarter. MP with it. Passes to Ben Carroll. Banked in off the glass. And the Magic lead by 11. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. And when defenders are lurking, that bounce pass can be the only way to get it through. And here is MP. So the Magic win it. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And when